Hi everybody, this is Mandy with Mandy's Adventures. Well, I have parked my car. It's going to be here for a while because I get to take my first Amtrak ride ever. I have never been on Amtrak, so I'm so excited about this. So I am taking the Amtrak from Hava, Montana to Whitefish, Montana. And um, it is winter time and the mountains <laughs> where I would have to go um, or where I'd have to drive, um, the weather is not good. So I decided to take Amtrak and I've never been on Amtrak before and I wanted to take you guys with me. So let's go in here. I've heard that my train is late. Let's go in here and check the status of it. Please remove any travel documents from the envelope and have them ready for scanning by the conductor. Thank you for choosing Amtrak. And here it comes. Well, it was scheduled to leave at 4.15 today, but um, it is five o'clock I am so excited about this and I am taking you on my first Amtrak adventure with me. Let's go. How are you guys? So, you could walk in and you could sit anywhere. So, here I am. Goodbye, Hava. Oh, this is definitely a way to go. Look at this. There's no one here. And there is McDonald's. Oh my gosh, you guys, I always see this train going by. Always. I'm just so excited to be on here. Thank you. 
it's dark in here now and it's just pulled into another station which is Cup Bank, Montana. Sure is a comfortable ride so far. It is 10 o'clock at night and it is dark out there and I have sat at the same window the whole time. It is beautiful on this train. If you sit here by the window, it does get cold. Oh, sorry, my camera's shaking me. There's another train going, but it does get cold right here by the window. I have my coat on it, and I even sat with my hood on, which really did save it. It did get, and I have my gloves on too. Ah, but I'm telling you, this was my first experience on Amtrak. Um, and it is night time and I'm nearly at my destination. I'm like half an hour away at 10.30 at night. I will get there. Um, but remember you guys, it is snowing. Um, it is the first week of February. And yeah, I think it's expected that it's cold. But walking into the other parts of the carriages, uh, I think you call them carriages over here, don't you, on the trains? I know they do on British Rail in England, but Anyway, what I mean is like the other part of the trains, um, it is a lot warmer. So anyway, the price we pay right to look at the window. Ah, um, I do see cars still on the highway and it was really icy out there. I was not gonna take a chance um, to drive. So anyway, the next time I see you um, is on my way back and back to have from Whitefish, Montana, and that will be in the daytime. So anyway, I'm going to spend a few days in um, Whitefish, and um, so I will see you again um, on the way home. Alrighty, so here I am, Whitefish, Montana, and I am catching the train eastbound back into Hava. It is early in the morning, well early, it's 7.30. There is the Amtrak. This is the train that is taking me home and it looks really busy. There's gonna be a lot of people on here, you guys. And again, I'm at the Whitefish Amtrak station. It's just a beautiful, beautiful station. Quite a few people getting on this train today.
he decided to drive is Galicia and Kalispell. We are coming into Galicia, at West Glacier right now. you guys it's so beautiful I think this is one reason why you should take Amtrak you can't see this when you're driving and I have driven this route before and you really can't soak it all in and remember this is the month of February just like Christmas out there but it isn't it's just beautiful and the hills up there and it is snowing out there right now summer when you come down here you will see um, people water rafting but of course you're not going to see it now because it's too cold um, I have seen people fish out here when it's really cold it's beautiful it's just so peaceful to look at isn't it it's absolutely gorgeous you guys I can't explain it any other way it's just lovely I think I could do this all day. Just keep staying on the train and going up and down by the flatheads and to white fish and just looking at all the scenery. And I'm missing the mountains up there. really amazes me is we are up in the mountains right now um, where I was in Trago, Montana was at 7,000 feet so then we came down to 5,000 feet at Whitefish and um, heading back to Hava you will definitely see a change in the landscape um, up here we're in the mountains it's just beautiful the Flathead Valley but then when we get back to, towards Hava, um, you are in the high line where it's flat and um, we get snow still. <laughs> and there are a few trees, still beautiful, um, but I don't think you can beat this view. That is 
there's another train going past us. Where I'm sitting, guys, is called an observation cart. And it doesn't matter if you look over here or over here or even up on the ceiling. Look at that. Look at on the roof. You've just got views of everywhere. And you have like table and you have a chair. And if you look under there, you do have a place to charge or your electronics. So that is pretty cool. Again, look at the view. It's beautiful. Tables are really roomy, you guys. You can put your legs out and you have lots of room to put all your stuff. And again, bonuses, you can get to plug it all in. I mean, you, from here you can see the rocks at the bottom of that lake. It is so clear. See it or not? See it? Wow! Look at that. When I mean, you can seriously see the rocks, amazing. It's not very busy on here this morning. Got a few people. And some people are, are working, they have their laptops up. Wouldn't you love this view as your office view? I know I would. <laughs> I'd like to walk down that pathway, but you know, <laughs> you know, and there are houses here, but you know, it comes to mind. I just don't want to do it in the springtime when those bears come awake. You won't really have nowhere to run, would ya? Oh my gosh, but I would so love to live there. You'd definitely get away from it, wouldn't ya?
is the highway, you guys. Yep. And it looks really nasty out there. I am so glad I decided to take Amtrak on this trip. It is snowing. Yeah, it looks like snow, ice, and then snow on top of the ice. Yeah. There's an advantage to taking Amtrak besides the beautiful scenery. The National Railroad Passenger Corporation, is doing business as Amtrak, is the passenger railroad company of the United States. It was founded May 1st of 1971 and its headquarters are in Washington, D.C. Okay, so they have said that there is a food cart down here. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to walk through the train, you guys. Okay, so I came downstairs to the little snack bar because I did have to check it out, you guys. And I got a bagel with cream cheese and it's heated by the microwave, but I'm okay with that. And I got a black coffee and these two together came to, oh, did I say I have cream cheese too? And um, these two came to 575 and there is a cute, little sitting area down here too where you can sit and eat so yeah and you can bring your electricals here and um plug everything into or bring your laptop down here while you're eating and look you still have the same view as uh, you did from where i sit in my chair and in the observation area so yeah you can see all the way all the way around they do have um, two places here on Amtrak where um, you can um, buy food and the other one is called the dining room cart and you can get like eggs and sausages. They, they do like breakfast and then um, they serve lunch and they serve dinner. But where I'm at right now is just like a little concession kind of little snacks where you can get coffee and um, potato chips and cakes and stuff like that anyway so there's two places where you can eat on Amtrak so this is what I noticed look this is what my breakfast came in my coffee and bagel and look guys it comes with its own little Amtrak <laughs> how cute oh my gosh I decided to eat down here it was just as nice or um, you are allowed to take your food um, back up to where you were sitting but um, actually the coffee was lovely and the bagel was absolutely delicious so yes um, thank you Amtrak that was just enough to fill me up until I got home so they do have restaurants and these are the stairs you guys This is where you can put your bags, right here. There's our lounges and those are the restrooms right there. Can you tell it's flatter? The trees aren't quite as thick it's because we are heading towards the high line um the high line has different kind of trees wind you guys can you see it oh my gosh it is so windy out there a 
and when you go through like Essex and Browning it usually is windier there because there's a lot of open space when you get to the High Line. See how flat it is, how more open it is, and less trees. We have definitely come off the mountain. And so you definitely will notice the difference and the layout of the land now because we are heading, it, we're in the flats um, along the high line heading there. Um, you will see a different uh, with the trees, with the grass, with everything, it's more flat, more open. See the wind? <laughs> Does it see the snow in the wind? Yeah, that's what I mean. It does get very windy out here. You notice there isn't as much snow down here. There's the cows. But anyway, there's a footrest. How super cool is that? And this here is where you can have like your coffee and whatnots right there. That is pretty cool. It's just like an airplane really, except for you've got a lot more room here, I think. So that's him. And this some uh, safety instructions. This is pretty neat and this are for um, putting your seat forward or backwards is the window and look we can even close the curtain. Why would you want to do that when you're on a lamb track and you're not driving and you can pay all the attention you want to what's around you. So that's it in a nutshell you guys and as you see the carriages i showed you the carriages moved. and there is a place where you can put your bags besides where i put my bag with the other bags down there you can check a bag in or you can um just did it how i did it on your own in the observation area I have a scarf and a jacket and my snow boots on and it is a little chilly it's beautiful and it's lovely and I am so thankful for this but if you decide that when you take your Amtrak trip and you want to spend a lot of time here looking out the window like I did make sure that you have like a big jacket or a scarf and it wouldn't hurt to bring a blanket too you can do that also just something to keep in mind 
Ooh. It's getting dark out there. I wonder if we're gonna get snow today along the High Line. Glad you're not driving in this. The weather is getting nasty out there. Look at that. It's the wind. The wind is really blowing. Miles and miles of open field along the High Line. Bye Amtrak, that was a fun run, thank you. Well done Amtrak, that was such a good ride, but you will be back to the snow again. <laughs> Until our next adventure everybody, bye!